Hello everyone, I'm really excited to do this video. I got on here, I have no makeup on, but I figure when you come to these videos, you come to see the purses that I'm showing and not me. So, I'm, the first purse I'm gonna show, I ordered this from Lug on July 4th, and I just received it today, and today is the 20th. So, if you order directly from Lug, and you have a timeline, say you're getting it for someone's birthday, be sure that you have plenty of time for your item to arrive. So this is the bag that I purchased. It is the gondola. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It is in the yellow bouquet. I love this pattern. And when I saw this purse, I thought it is so neat. And this is it. It looks really large when it's just sitting there, but on the shoulder, it really doesn't look that bad. Um, but it's super lightweight, so that even helps. But I've just been looking for a bag that was really large, and this one is actually large. So I think this is the absolute lightest lug, ba lug bag that I have ever purchased. So I'm going to start with the things that I ordered to go with it. And I really just ordered this one little case that actually matches. And this is called the Paracel in Bouquet Yellow. Is it Paracel or Paracel? Anyway, you get the idea. And the inside of it is lined, and then it is lined in plastic. That way, if you have your makeup and different things in here, it will not harm the inside of your bag. You can clean it out really nicely. This front pocket is not lined in the plastic. So, this is the bag that I got to match this one. Then, because it was 4th of July, they had a deal going where you would get this little bag for free. This is called the Coop. This is in the color Cobalt. It can go on a belt and it also comes with a strap. This strap is really nice and wide for as small as this bag is. But what I thought I would do, the only other wallet that I have from Lug is a grayish taupe collar. So I thought that this would be really pretty to just use this bag as a wallet, put all my cards in one side and then my cash in the other. I could even use me a little, um, a little card case. But see this side actually has a little window I could put my ID in and then it has a zip pocket. So this would be perfect for my cards to go on this side, which I may go ahead and use a little card case just to keep the ones, say, um, my reward cards, insurance cards, things like that. So then I can put my license here and then just stick my debit card in there. Maybe even in the zip section, I could put some things. And then up here would be all of my cash and coins because I even have like a little coin purse or I could even put my coins back here. So this is gonna be perfect, I think, as a wallet. It says lug right here. This one says lug right here. I think that little plate's on there a little crooked. Maybe, maybe not. No, I think it's okay. So the inside of this bag, I know a lot of people have done videos on this purse, but one thing that nobody covered in any of the videos is the fact that this pocket is what I was really the most excited about because when me and my mom go out shopping, I always take a bowl of water and if I leave it in the car, it gets so hot that I can't drink it. It's like really warm. So I thought this is gonna be great. I can stick it down in this pocket and I don't have to worry about it. And this bag's so light, it would just be perfect in there. But when I opened it, I was really surprised to see that the silver part that keeps your beverage cold is only on half. So it's on this front half, as you can see right here where my finger is, and it's on the bottom. 
But this back side of the bottle holder is just this green material. So how does that keep your bottles cold? Um, if you have this bag and you've used it, did it keep your drinks cold? Because normally I carry this type water bottle. I do not carry an insulated cup. So it's always this. I don't even have, well, I have one, but it does not have a leak proof lid. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to invest in a different cup or having these, um, I guess really you could say three sides with the silver part is that enough to keep it cold because see like here if you can see this is a better view see this whole section is just the thin material and then all of the front the sides and the bottom is the silver so if you have this bag please let me know did it work on your regular bottles of pop or water it also has a little clip here. I like the fact that I can put my keys on it and it expands. Then on this back wall, there are two really long pockets. My hand goes all the way in and up past my wrist. These back ones are both fleece lined. That is perfect for my um, glasses, my reading glasses and my sunglasses. And then down below it, there are two more pockets. They are not fleece lined, but that's okay. On the side where my water holder is, there is a pocket. It is also fleece lined on one side. And then the bottom of the bag has a really nice hard structure. And I do believe that is all of the pockets. So you're gonna have six here. Then you're gonna have one here beside that. There is the key clip, but I do not see any other pockets in this bag. I'm just double checking. I don't see any pencils, like little holders or anything like that. The back of the purse has this really nice pocket it's just from here to here. It's not super long, but it would be perfect for keys or anything like that. It has the little thing here that goes over a um, suitcase. It does have Velcro there. The handles are rubberized to keep them on your shoulder. This is the bottom of the bag. I really like these that have the clear plastic and then the little feet. I really like those kind of bottoms that lug does. This is the front of the purse, same pocket, but it's bigger. It's definitely a whole lot bigger on the front. And it really goes on my shoulder easily. And as you can see, there's plenty of room that it's comfortable. It really doesn't seem that bad on the shoulder, especially if you're looking for a larger bag. So if I take some of this stuff out of my backpack, I'm just gonna try to be quick with this. I already have stuff in here. I would not be leaving it in this case, but just for being a little bit quick, here is my wipes. Um, that was Oh, and my uh, band-aids. So this is probably all that I would be having in this little bag. So I'm going to stick it in here. And of course it goes in there easily. Um, of course my wallet is not in here. I forgot that I took it out. But here is my little pen pouch and my little book. So I'm just gonna set this down in there empty and you can just imagine having my cards and stuff in it. I did put the strap in there, so that gives it a little bit of width. So I stuck it down in here. You know, actually these tall pockets is gonna be perfect for me to put my date book in one 
put my little notebook in one. That's just to keep it a little bit more tidy. Here is my little mirror. I normally do not put this in with my, uh, like my makeup bag. I will probably put it in this back open pocket. Let's see what else is in here. I have my glasses cleaner and a mask. So I'm going to use this other pocket that is above my date book for that. And as I was looking in this second pocket, there are two pen holders. So I'm gonna get down into my pouch. I'm gonna pull out two pens so you can see it better where this is. I may just, I'm gonna, well, no, you can't see my notebook if I put it in that one. The back ones are deeper. The front ones are not as deep. But here are my pens, my little notebook, my date book, my mask, and my glasses cleaner. Here is my fan that I have started carrying. This is called O2 Cool. I found it at Big Lots. You turn it on and it blows out the top. So when you hang it around your neck, it is blowing on your face, which is perfect because when I'm really hot, I want it on my face. Um, that can actually go, um, I think on the back of the bag in this big pocket, that is the perfect place for my fan. That way it's on the outside and it's easy to get to. Here are little uh, reward cards to get little discounts at gas stations and things. I have some candy and gum. So I'm telling you, let's see. I will put these things in the front pocket because it's really nice and deep. I think I'm getting to the end. I have my tissues and I have my earbuds. So really my tissues should probably go where my mask is. And then my earbuds are gonna go in this open pocket back here on the back with my mirror. I usually keep those things together okay now all of that's in there and i'm going to stick my bottle of water in here and when i do that i don't have my keys out here with me to stick in a pocket but that's okay so now i'm going to show you this bag again how it looks let me stand up here so there's my back pockets i don't have a pair of sunglasses with me but these back two pockets is where I'm gonna put my readers and then my sunglasses. So every pocket has something in it. It's really organized. There is my parasail, my bottle of water, and then in front of that is my wallet and my pen pouch. So this is the gondola all prepared for a day out. I think it's really neat. It also has a zipper, which I really like it having a zipper. Some people complain about the ends, like having an opening, but to me, where all of my stuff is in pouches and pockets, I don't find that to be a problem at all. So this is how it looks when it's full, as full as I was carrying. I mean, you could get a whole lot more in this bag. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but this is as full as I would carry it. So let me fix the straps. This is the top of it. I really like this wide gusset for the zipper. This is how the bottom looks. This is from the side. And this is how it looks on the shoulder. It definitely added some weight putting all my stuff in it, but not to the point of it being uncomfortable. Um, I have another lug bag that is really heavy once I get it filled up. Is the, it's not the puddle jumper, 
I had the, what's it called, the mini pedal jumper. I had that, and I felt like at the top was too much unused space, so I got the carry-all, the, is it called a jumper as well? It's very similar to the pedal jumper, but I think it is a carry-all tote. It's a little bit heavy, but this bag is really cute, especially if you need a large bag. So, once again, I'm gonna show you the inside. And I feel like I really put a lot of these pockets to good use. Okay, this is the Lug Gondola. Thanks for watching. Bye.